all the content that you get out of your podcast, it's ridiculous. It's so much. And yep. people always struggle to create enough content Every when business. they want to grow. Yeah. But that is the only way to grow. You do need that content. Yeah. It's one of the main reasons why we are doing this podcast right now is so that we have plenty of content, valuable content to share on social media. Welcome back to Oh My Pod, a podcast all about podcasting. This is the fourth episode, and today we're going to be talking about video and why your podcast really does need video now. So over the last uh, six months or so, maybe longer, um, video has started to become necessary when making a podcast. People actually expect podcasts now to be audio and video, whereas before it was really a lot like people were thinking of it a lot like radio. But now it's kind of a hybrid. And people like Joe Rogan uh, really revolutionized that because obviously that is the biggest podcast in the world. In his podcast, obviously, he's got, he's got full videos. They're like two and a half hours long. He uploads them to YouTube. But also people take clips from his episode and, and post them everywhere. The clips are what you see all over social media close up of people's faces uh, with subtitles. It's really a must now. Only recording video will give you the content that you need to grow your show. Yes. Right? Because if we look at what content performs the best um, all across social media, it is definitely short clips. Yes. And without recording video when you record your podcast, yeah, you won't have that. You've got nothing to you've got nothing to um to actually show Share. with yeah. the audio you know what i exactly. mean exactly because and because the 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 audio can be made into like a um a little graphic but those things used to perform better but they don't anymore because mm -hmm. the algorithms are pushing more content with people's faces with and that's what people are wanting now so yeah. like like Celine said without video you have nothing to share and if you think about it like what do you personally gravitate towards more? Is it those corporate Instagrams that use um, stock images and have nobody on there really other than like weird quotes and weird pictures? Or do you like to see a person and is that how you face, actually yeah. build trust with that company or with that podcast host, whatever it may be? We have a, a really interesting statistic here. Um, yeah. So I'll let you say that. I when I came across this I thought I immediately thought about my dad actually mm -hmm. or about the generation older than me mm -hmm. than us actually 43% of the podcast listeners um prefer to only listen to audio so all podcast listeners 43% 43% of yeah. all um but 57% of those actually prefer the video content which is slightly more but the cool thing about that that uh, of those 57% 35%, which I think makes up a total of like probably a fourth yeah. or a bit more than a fourth of, of all the whole, podcast listeners um, listen on YouTube or watch on YouTube. And my dad does exactly that. He doesn't even have Spotify or, or Apple podcasts, but they know he, how to use YouTube. Exactly. He watches it on YouTube and yeah. he likes watching while he is listening. Yeah. I personally don't. I'm an audio person because I like to use podcasting when I'm doing other stuff at the same time. Yeah. I have to say that I actually prefer watching. The value that you get from a statistic like this is, okay, podcast needs to go on YouTube. It, it exactly. does now. Now it needs to be on YouTube. It definitely does. This has changed. I can't, I can't stress enough how much this has changed since we started our business like three years ago, but it's completely different now. Video then, is an, a must. And then if you think about from a perspective of like how much time it is going to use up, of yes. your time is, yep. it is going to use up. It's actually a repurposing of your recording or it's like you're recording the video and the audio at the same time. So it's so not, you might as well put gonna, the video in there as exactly, well. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going to use more time on that front. And you can repurpose it endlessly. Yeah. Like all the content that you get out of your podcast, like it's ridiculous. It's so much. And yep. people always struggle to create enough content Every when business. they want to grow. Yeah. But that is the only way to grow. You do need that content. Yeah. So yeah, like we cannot stress enough how important this is. It's one of the main reasons why we are doing this podcast right now is so that we have plenty of content, valuable content to share on social media. 
Exactly, because we have our company that produces podcasts, but like, of course, we share snippets of our work that our company does. But um, what is valuable to somebody that follows us on Instagram? Is it seeing the content of our um, yeah, clients really care or is so it much? maybe yeah. something that actually brings value to all the podcasters? And so we were like, well, actually, this is perfect. Yeah, This is what people need to hear they need advice on certain things and this is what we're going to give to them yeah exactly um and for the actual specifics about recording video we might get into this um even more in depth i might actually bring somebody on who is a videographer but what we're doing right now is very simple we have the camera set up on a little tripod that barely costs any money um, and the camera is actually just my phone so you don't need to get a camera you can just use your phone, turn it sideways, make sure you're recording from the back camera because that's higher quality and, um, and just hit record. And afterwards, sync up the audio and video together and you're good to go. Um, I do know that there's also cameras that you can buy if you prefer not to use your phone. If you want two angles, um, there's, there's cameras that you can get for that, um, like little um, tiny cameras that are specifically for that. Um, and obviously it is important to make sure that your lighting is pretty decent. We're using a, um, a panel light that I bought on Amazon. I think it was about $150 um, and it's great. It goes with uh, yellow light or white light and that's all you really need. I mean, you might not even need a light if you're lucky enough to yeah, have good natural lighting. And if you don't care so much, which like you don't have to care so much, but if you, if you don't care so much, don't even use a light. Like just set up your phone mm -hmm. and, um, and go for it. But we cannot stress enough the importance of using video at this point exactly and obviously um now a lot of guests and a lot of interviews are done virtually yeah so this is actually believe it or not it's even easier, easier. to, to get your video and everything um all set up um one reason for that is kind of funny I think one reason for that is because people are a little more forgiving when it comes to online interviews you have a very understanding audience when it comes to podcast listeners, the type of people who listen to podcasts. They can look at it and say, okay, I understand that this is a live virtual interview. They're obviously not optimal because they're having to do it over a computer rather than a person. So we understand that the quality is probably coming from a laptop camera. The lighting might not be perfect because they're probably in their office. And all of these things actually matter because I, I know for a fact because I'm one of those people who... I look at it and I'm like, you know what? Even though it doesn't look perfect, I understand that they did it virtually and I appreciate the fact that they put the effort into getting the video anyways. So how are you going to actually record video and even do a virtual interview? That's a whole other episode on how to do virtual interviews. Um, but what I will say is that the best possible resource that we have found that we recommend to our clients is a company called Zencaster. Um, that's Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R. So like without the E. We'll link that in the show notes as well. Um, you can pay every month. Uh, you don't even have to pay. Um, I think there's a watermark on it if you don't though. And you can record your video and your audio on separate files, separate tracks. Which is important for editing. Exactly, especially if you're gonna send it to a company. Um, all at once. And so what our clients do is they hop on there with their guests, they send their guest a link, and the guest comes on and they hit record. And then from there, uh, they record their episode and then they send us the files afterwards and that's it. Yes, recording video is even easier from your laptop. And remember, you can only do so much to make sure that your side of the video looks good, your lighting, whatever. You can't really force the guest to set up a perfect video. But like I said, the listeners are going to be, listeners and watchers are gonna be very, very forgiving. They're gonna know, okay, it's a guest. They probably just you know, hopped on in between meetings to hop on the podcast and don't expect them to look like they're in a million dollar studio. So that's probably everything, right? Yeah, I think that's everything for today. Awesome. I would just like to remind you that we have the nine step launch guide in our show notes. There's a link and you can um, click on that and put in your email address and we will send that PDF to you. It's completely free. We worked on that for quite a while and there's a lot of tips in there on how to get started. Equipment advice, 
how to set up your space and much more Actually recording yeah all yeah. that stuff yeah super valuable go ahead and get that on the next episode we're going to be talking about three easy ways to come up with amazing episode ideas so that's probably going to be a quick one. Make sure to tune in for that one. Yeah, definitely. That's going to be... Because a lot of people suddenly don't know what to talk about anymore. Yeah, you get stuck and... Exactly. Um, it's easy if you're doing interviews all the time because you don't have to plan, you know, your episodes. So but much, yeah. But if, you are, if you're a solo show or you're doing something like we're doing, then yeah, you need to know what to talk about. Yeah, so that's everything. And um, thank you for listening to this episode and we will hopefully see you in a couple weeks. 